I've already talked about Lucia in detail in one of my previous videos, and she definitely deserved that attention for being the first female protagonist in the Grand Theft Auto series in a long, long time. But that does not mean that Jason seems to be any less interesting. If nothing has changed since the last year's leaks, he is one of the two main protagonists of the upcoming game, and I'm sure that he's just as important as Lucia. As I said, Jason is one of the only two protagonists in GTA 6. Keeping up the tradition of the GTA series alive, he probably will be a gangster, and nothing will stop him from robing, murdering, stealing, and he is not above killing hundreds of police officers as long as it serves his personal interests. His age seems to be somewhere in the late 20s and mid 30s, and he has a very casual appearance in which he wears a tank top and a backwards hat, which makes him feel like a common man. He seems to have a great physique, unlike Michael or Trevor from GTA 5 who were middle-aged and did not work out very often, and he has a bit of a thug-like attitude which is to be expected from a criminal in Vice City. After all, I wouldn't expect a GTA character to be well-versed in Shakespeare, though I have to admit that it would be a hilarious idea. Sadly, we don't know more about his personality or what alternate appearances he might have, but it's great that people who prefer to play as a male protagonist will still have an option for themselves too, even if Lucia ends up being more famous by the end. This is where things get interesting, because Grand Theft Auto 6 does not seem to be a simple gangster story like most of the previous games in the franchise. According to the leaks and industry insiders, the dynamic of Jason and Lucia seems to be that of Bonnie and Clyde as they are a criminal couple that sticks together and look after each other while murdering tons of policemen, innocent civilians, and criminals that stand in their way. This is a breath of fresh air from the franchise and explains why GTA 6 has two protagonists instead of three, like in the last game. And of course, it is more similar to the Red Dead Redemption games rather than GTA, since those games focus more on drama, relationships, and romance, compared to GTA, which is about men rising to power in situations that can often be described as black comedy. To understand this dynamic further, let's look at Bonnie and Clyde, who served as the inspiration for GTA 6's story. Clyde Champion Barrow and Bonnie Parker were a criminal couple who had given the police so much trouble that it was considered one of the most spectacular manhunts America had seen up to that time in history. They committed a lot of bank robberies and had shot at least nine policemen and four civilians. And eventually, they were shot to death by the police one day after a long chase in May 23, 1934. Their kill count may sound small compared to what we have in GTA games, but in real life, it's much easier to die, and you never respawn. With how popular the abilities for each character in Grand Theft Auto V became, it goes without saying that Jason and Lucia will certainly have a character ability too. In the leaked clip of a pawn shop, the player activated what seemed to be much like Red Dead's eagle eye, where he could see a glow around things of value. He could even see them through walls. I don't really think that's his special ability though, so we don't know at the moment what Jason's ability is going to be, since the leaks did not reveal anything looking like that. However, you can notice a bunch of new things within the gameplay mechanics which may translate into abilities. For example, in GTA 6, you can guard yourself with your hands and any weapon that you're holding, which will still damage you but make headshots harder, which happened a lot in GTA 5 as cops can randomly manage to shoot your face. Another thing is that characters can prone and how loot is shared between the two playable characters. So I'm guessing that the abilities are going to be related to combat too. Maybe there's something like Trevor's Rage that makes you invulnerable for a little time, or maybe you might be able to protect yourself better, which may even include human shields. And since this is a couple, it would make sense if one of the two is better at driving. So like Franklin from GTA 5, we might get an ability related to driving as well. Since the game only has two characters, we might see two abilities per person instead of only one since the options are less this time around. Rockstar Games has kept a tight lid on the voice actors of Grand Theft Auto 6, especially for the main protagonists, Lucia and Jason. However, the GTA community is not one to take lightly, and they have managed to track down the two actors who seem to be playing these roles. For Lucia, as I've mentioned before, it seems to be an actress called Alexandra Christina Echevari. For Jason, however, it was harder to find the actor because he is being extremely subtle in the hints of working for Rockstar Games. So, how did we find out? First of all, in 2019, someone on GTA forums found a picture of an actor called Brian Zampella with the cinematics director of Rockstar Games, who worked on both GTA 5 and GTA Online. Then, Tim Neff, a stuntman who has worked for Rockstar Games for many years, liked that post too. Not only that, but Brian Zampella was not active on Instagram for a while. But when he did start posting again, his posts were very cryptic and imply criminal activity in subtle jokes. For example, he posted a picture where he's looking at a car, and the caption reads, buy it or take it. 
Comparing the leaked model of Jason from Grand Theft Auto 6 with pictures of Brian Zampella makes it look almost entirely certain that he is being played by that actor, because a lot of the features match. The only difference is that Jason seems to be younger in age, while Brian is certainly a bit older. But video games are make-believe. The age of the actor and the character, of course, does not have to be the same. There are still many actors that we have not learned anything about, but it's amazing that even though the game hasn't been officially revealed yet, we already know who the actors for Jason and Lucia are. And fortunately, while these actors are not famous, they do seem to be good at their job, which makes me even more excited to see their performances in GTA 6. Though I won't be showing pictures of Jason directly from the leaks out of respect of Rockstar Games and copyright, I can still show you exactly how he looks thanks to fan art. That's right, fans never fail to impress, we have tons of fan art of a character whose game hasn't even been released yet, and through it we can get a good idea of what he's like. One interesting thing to note is that he will be customizable in the game, just like Lucia. We did not get to see him in an alternative outfit, but it's a no-brainer that he will be customizable because of what we've seen with Lucia. Most of his fan art is with Lucia and not by himself, but that's no surprise given that they are supposed to be inseparable in the story. There are a few rumors about Jason in GTA 6, which should be taken with a grain of salt because not all of them might be true, but they are surely interesting and include things like Jason and Lucia might have a heated dynamic, which means that they might fight or disagree on things. In things like heists, this can be an interesting mechanic as the game might add extra difficulty for the player if the lack of coordination between the two characters might lead to complications. Gangs in GTA 6 have already been found in the game's files, and Bonnie and Clyde in real life were a part of a gang too. So it's entirely possible that Jason might have been a part of a gang too, whether actively or sometime in the past, and that will of course haunt him in one way or another. One of Lucia's leaks revealed that she would be in jail at the start of the game and will see her escape. This means that Jason might be in jail too at the same time, or maybe he will be the main source through which she ends up escaping, which could lead to a very fun prison break mission. That's all that I've heard so far which doesn't sound like complete speculation, and it does feel exciting in terms of both gameplay and story. As I've mentioned from time to time, regardless of how many leaks we've had about the game, we still don't know when Grand Theft Auto 6 will come out. This is because of the fact that even Rockstar Games hasn't decided the release date yet, which has been confirmed by anonymous sources within the company. Thus, we won't meet Jason or Lucia in 2023 for sure. But fortunately, there is a chance that we might see GTA 6 sometime in holidays of 2024. Though this could change later on if Rockstar Games thinks that the game is not ready. With every new game in the series, Rockstar Games has tried to be innovative in some way, especially if the new game is coming out on a new generation of consoles. So, it's no surprise that they are taking their time with the game's release. Even though I wish GTA 5 had some story DLC to keep us busy in the meantime, I understand and respect the decision of not rushing the game. We've already seen how badly rushed games end up being, especially if they are open world. So I'm fine waiting for now, and when we finally meet Jason, it will be worth it. If, before the release of GTA 6, we learn more about Jason, I'll be sure to cover that information for you all. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about the both new protagonists of the upcoming GTA 6? Thank you for such a nice response to my latest videos, it really keeps me motivated. Also, huge thanks to all my patrons for supporting my work. Thanks for today and see you in the next one.